Bev again, and today we're going to talk about our favorite topic, metabolism and how to boost it. I've had a lot of questions on Instagram and YouTube, and so I thought I'd do another video at it. But I'm going to come at the issue of boosting your metabolism from a slightly different angle. So first of all, let's think about the things that you do in a 24-hour period. Well, obviously, you have to eat. You also will move, and of course, at some point, you'll be sleeping, right? Each one of these three activities involves energy. The body needs energy to digest the food that you eat, to give you, um, to help your muscles move those joints so you can walk or whatever, and sleep. You need energy. I mean, you may not think that you need energy for sleeping, but think about it. You're not aware of it. Your heart is beating. Uh, your organs are working, um, you're breathing, all of this is going on while you're sleeping. So your body needs energy for all three. Now, let's think about your body. Okay, really, you know what your body is? It's an engine. And what do all engines need? They need fuel, right? A car needs gas to run. Your body needs caloric energy, cal calories. That's what it uses as fuel. Another name for your engine is your metabolism. So basically your metabolism is your engine's ability to use those calories as fuel, your ability to burn calories. Now, you're going to hear a lot of different terms for different types of metabolisms, right? You're going to hear people say, oh, I have a fast metabolism. And it's kind of a continuum, right? Other people will say that they have a slow metabolism. So if, if you have a fast meta metabolism, what you're saying is, oh, I have a great ability to burn the fuel in my engine. I have a great ability to burn calories. And the opposite is slow. I like to use the word efficiency and inefficiency. So if you have a fast metabolism, it's very efficient at dealing with the calories that you eat, okay? And a slow is the opposite. Now let's come back here. You have choices. You have choices here, choices here, and choices here. So what are your choices when you eat? Well, we know what they are. You can eat healthy, nutrient-dense food. Um, or you can eat processed, acidic, sugary, shitty food. You can have portion control, or maybe you just eat yourself silly. You don't have portion control. Um, maybe you eat a lot of protein. Maybe you don't eat a lot of protein. Um, maybe you like to starve yourself of calories. Or maybe you don't like to eat all three macronutrients. You decide to starve yourself of fat or carbs or whatever. Um, so you've got lots of choices here, but you also have lots of choices with how you move. Um, maybe you lead a sedentary lifestyle, right? You sit at the computer a lot, you get up and you get something to eat, or maybe you uh, get in your car and drive over to the food store, um, but you don't really exercise. You have no organized exercise in your life. Another choice might be to uh, have exercise, things like Pilates, yoga, weightlifting, cycling, jogging, jogging, whatever. So you actually have a lot more movement than the sedentary uh, lifestyle type choice. Um, and sleep, yeah, you've got choices. You could sleep, uh, you know, three hours a night or seven or more hours a night. When you sleep more hours a night, um, you're going to be born, burning more calories because you're going to have less cortisol and more human growth hormone. And that means more calorie burning or more um, fuel used for the engine. And the other thing is, uh, just on the side, 
depending on how you eat and depending on how you move, the decisions in here will also help with the number of calories that you burn while you're sleeping. Um, before I go on, I want to say when you're sleeping, you know, just to be alive, it is called your basal or basic metabolic rate, okay? And you've often heard that term. So that's just what you need to live. These other needs for, for energy will add to your metabolic rate, okay? And that is called your resting metabolic rate. And your, mesting, your resting metabolic rate includes all three of these. So if you want to boost your metabolism, you have to think about the fuel that you eat. You want to have um, good, clean fuel. You want to have fuel that helps your muscles, for example, protein. And protein is a very inefficient macronutrient to eat. It uses a lot of calories just to break that protein down into useful little parts for your body. Um, and you want to challenge your muscles so that uh, you need to have more fuel to repair them after you've killed them in some sort of exercise, right? That's calorie burning. And um, well, I mentioned about sleep. So to boost your metabolism, you need to think of fuel. You need to think that metabolism is, the function is to burn calories. So good, clean fuel, challenge your muscles and get some good sleep. Okay, so I hope this has helped. And uh, not sure what I'll do the next video on, but we'll figure it out. See you then.